at the end of the 2017 field season, we had a wealth of geophysical data from the airborne survey and from the surface EM surveys as well as borehole surveys. So Alan is an expert in, in uh, the interpretation of, um, of EM data and he has uh, many, many years, I, I hesitate to say how many years, working on nickel deposits globally and in the Sudbury Thompson and Voices Bay environment. So he is, he is the person, the go-to person to actually uh, to actually interpret this type of data. The, um, the, 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 um, modeled, um, the modeled plates that he identified in um, slightly to the south and west and slightly to the east of the known mineralization at, um, at ENL um, are both very high intensity plates. They're better than 10,000 siemens. One of the plates has around about a 200 meter length, whereas the other one is around about 300 meters. Those plates are sitting away from the known mineral zones. They're not actually the footprints of the known mineralization. These are new and different. One of them may be connected to the discovery, um, discovery zone. Um, they're really exciting plates. Um, don't get me wrong. Conductivity can be due to any conductive material. It doesn't have to be nickel sulfide mineralization. At the moment, I don't have any reason to believe um, that I can categorically say this is going to be this is going to be um, a nickel sulfide. But um, those plates are going to be a high priority for targeting, and they offer the uh, the, the opportunity for a significant step out from the known mineral zones um, to to identify a, a much broader footprint to the known mineralization. I think the other key point about that type of um, geophysical information is that it usually is very sensitive to to um, connected more more massive styles of mineralization or a connected target. Um, it's not usually as sensitive to disseminated types of sulfide because disseminated sulfides are not connected. They typically don't uh, don't provide you with a big a big EM uh, EM uh, signature. Um, some some variation. They're not you know it's not clear cut at what point disseminated sulfides become become uh, conductive, uh, but it's certainly um, not, it's, it's clearly um, the opportunity is there is for the uh, for the more connected end of the spectrum, which also would by analogy go with grade.